none of us are talking to Chris face to face, even though he's right downstairs. Welcome to day whatever. <laughs> Everything's the same in these four walls. I go down with a mask on. I walk up to the door. So I left you eggs and toast. We had made a plan that if any of us got sick, we would go to our guest room, which is in the basement. Every time after I go down there, I wash my hands. He describes it as massive muscle, not just aches, but pain. I have two teenagers who are trying to help, but they're also going to school. I spent all morning Friday and much of the day Saturday disinfecting. God bless my neighbor. Dropped off milk. Yesterday I did about 10 loads of laundry. Uh, I'm just tired. I'm tired. I know that we are super lucky that we have so much support. My biggest fear, like I'm sure so many families right now, is that he will take a turn for the worse and that he won't be able to breathe and that I'll have to take him to the hospital. So I made a plan with my neighbor that uh, if I have to leave and the kids are alone, that she'll help them. That's my biggest fear, is that I won't be able to take care of my kids. I have so much appreciation for everyone right now, for the people bringing me my mail, for the people bringing me groceries, for just the people sending me text messages. It's really cool. Uh, there's a lot going on in everyone else's world, and they had really wonderful things to say to my wife and myself. And I want to say thank you because I can't even keep up. So thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.